I think the police should be told. Maybe she was hoovering earlier. Oh, I don't know. I've spent a lifetime trying to fathom the complexities of jungle ecosystems, but they are as nothing compared to the bizarre machinations of this village. Just extraordinary. He's not back. Hasn't he contacted you? Right. Did he take any, any clothes? A bag? I wanted children. But he said we still had some fun years left. Then it was we had to build up the car business first. Now we're bankrupt. And there won't be any children. Why are you talking about your husband in the past tense, Mrs. Kane? Because he's dead. I can feel it. Mrs. Keene, if you do know anything, you must tell us. Hello? Where? had been on the phone asking us if we knew where Adam might be. There he was. died just about instantly. The joists had been sawn through. They'd left just enough to keep the floor in place, but it would have given way as soon as he stepped onto it. Do you think this is connected to Melissa's murder, sir? Well, they were friends. Where's the motive? Melissa was killed in revenge for old Neil Langston's death. Why this? What had Adam got to do with that? And what was Adam doing here? Wouldn't be a bad spot, though, would it? For a secret tryst. All that straw. Hmm. What? Personally, I think straw's a bit overrated, sir. Why? It's prickly. What if Melissa and Adam were having an affair and Liz Keane decided she'd had enough of the pair of them? And all that anxiety was what? An act? Oh. 
Enemies. Adam. You mean apart from the legions of debtors, the cuckolded husbands and the cheated lovers? Yes, I've been a complete and utter fool. Mrs Keane, do you know whether your husband was having an affair? <laughs> With Melissa Townsend? With Melissa? Not lately. Their relationship had developed into something much closer. I'm sorry. I can't do this.